All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zaf. And we are real time today. We got season three, episode three of Peaky Blinders. Last episode was a crazy end. Um, they were at their little foundation dinner thing, and someone came in and shot Grace. Um, it was definitely revenge for what Johnny Boy did to Angel earlier in the episode. He was just trying to be too tough and it came back to bite him indirectly. Um, I think the guy was aiming for Tommy, but hit Grace. She was wearing her her bad luck curse necklace and she took the bullet. So um, I thought it looked bad. We'll see if she's okay or not. But I mean, just uh, Tommy is gonna be really mad and like he just has so much other stuff going on too that he probably mm. doesn't even, shouldn't even be worrying about something like this, but he has to now obviously, cause it's his wife, but it's gonna be insane how he reacts tommy did a bunch of stuff last episode he went and met up with uh some guy i forget it's like of a what a georgian descent he wasn't actually a russian he's like a fake russian um and he that guy gave him a uh sapphire and she, he gave it to grace and she wore it and then i think somehow that guy is related to uh the what is she the duchess and she was there and saying how the sapphire was bad luck and all these people i just feel like are um like intertwined and connected and tommy's getting into the wrong stuff right now um and right after the duchess said that the sapphire was bad luck grace did get shot so that's not good uh everyone here we have so many new faces um that we're gonna have to learn about and one of them is the priest yeah the priest has definitely been an interesting addition this season uh i figured out the actor who he was he's from house of the dragon so uh my my conscience feels my conscience feels better after that but and yeah like zoff said there's there's just so many like enemies right now like he's he's got the russians and now because of what john did and what happened to grace like uh, this Italian family is at war with him essentially and the priest seemingly has like direct ties with Scotland Yard so uh, I mean those are three very very bad situations threatening people and I just I don't even know where Tommy should start with all that all right guys that's pretty much it though before we get into this episode if you guys have been enjoying these peaky blinders reactions please drop a like comment and subscribe check out our links in the description we have our patreon our discord our second channel a talk all of our social medias and the address to our p.o box but yeah let's get into it peaky blinders season three episode three let's go vibes aren't great vibes are not great he's got a small stool there look at that thing <laughs> that small. is that tall can't be comfy he looks like us with the hat. I think that's what the devil looks like. Devil is not that handsome. He I don't know, most, dude. He was the most handsome angel. I think apparently. that I think he I think he would be low key handsome. Was, was he really? Is that? Uh huh. Everyone was jealous of Archangel. I think it was it Michael. Was he up there all night? He doesn't even ride his car anymore. Funeral. Comes back in oh. Yeah, dude, she died. Off screen death for Grace. I wouldn't call it off yeah. screen. She got we, we Sarge get shot. You think they'll introduce Maybach? I don't know. Maybach sounds like a good Maybach. Uh, That's a car. Really? Yes. Yeah. I was gonna say it would sound like a good um, ship name. But, 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 Maybach. But Maybach, Maybach music. music. That's probably because I was thinking of Mayflower. The council have suggested naming the new school the Gross Shelby Institute. Tell the council the name Grace Shelby Institute is acceptable to us. Oh god, Tommy is on some just different shit now. I thought it was a fucking family meeting, you know? All of us together, I thought. John, he's grieving. To see everyone together is you too much. Yeah, well. Go on, John. Michael got to see him before his brothers. There he is. <laughs> this is like a Harry Potter room. Hello, boys. We, uh, England. Didn't get a chance to uh, see you after the funeral. Well, me and John, we just want to say that. Oh, just shut up. All Damn. Right. You don't want to hear it. <laughs> it's all right. We got to Angel at the hospital where he laid, cut his throat. Damn. He's dead. Done deal. 
One of the old man. Will you interrogate to these boys? Yeah, he went to Liverpool. He's waiting for an immigrant ship to New York. When? First ship south Saturday. He wants everyone dead. It's demon time. You pick him up and you bring him to me. Who's got travelling with him? His wife. What? His wife. So shoot her and bring him to me. Damn. Oh my god. No mercy. Uh, Tommy, Mrs. Changretta was a teacher at our school. She's a good woman, so good woman. You don't care. Well, if she's a good woman, then she got to heaven. Hey, Arthur. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> he wants everyone yeah. dead. If you're going to be there, you're going to have to tell us something. That's funny. Not my call. What? You saw him before us. John. On that. Not time for an argument. <laughs> you saw Michael before us. For sake, John. Because legitimate business, John, is the priority. He swear. My fucking wife took a bullet meant for me. Johnny boy, just let it go, brother. Move on. Because it was low-key your fault. Blah, blah, blah. But you don't tell us shit. We're a couple of fucking toy soldiers. Do this. He's getting smacked. Fucking teacher, John! Do it on the list and fuck off. Johnny boy's got a temper this season. He's getting fed up with Tommy. That's why young Michael is the boss. <laughs> He knows better words, right, Pa? Since when was I your boss, Arthur? Uh, first the boss meeting, then the workers meeting, you know? When did either of you two do a day's work? <laughs> yeah, right, Finn, man. get those lines in, boy. Now me and John, we're just fucking bin men. Whose duty it is to obey. For real, like, you think at this point they could get other people to do this, not his two brothers. Yeah. I know what we can do. We get the guns out, John. We go outside and we shoot some fucking peasants. <laughs> Classic uh, clown. the boss is doing it. Yeah. Fuck off, Arthur. Oh, what? Fuck you, just say to me. I didn't ask for separate meetings today, all right? What the fuck did you do today? Because I didn't fucking hear you, right? I didn't ask for separate meetings today. All right. Fucking peasants. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Carl. It's a family united that shall never be defeated. Thomas John, I swear to God, he's gonna wipe him with Johnny Dogs. <laughs> oh, where is he going? Johnny Dogs. Tommy and Johnny Dogs in a wagon. Anything could happen. That's kid. Charles. You're not gonna tell them. Tell them what? That we're going to Wales. What? Oh god. I remember last night when you asked after Mama. She's gone, Charlie, and there's a few things we need to get straight. I'll keep things the way they are in the room. <clears throat> I saw someone said earlier that the baby asked where his mother was. Mm hmm That baby can't talk. He probably will just say, like, Mama or something, oh, okay. and I, I'd imagine. He asks for he his said, mother. He put his hand up. Where's Mama? Mama. Who, Disneyland. <laughs> who wants to go to the Four Seasons Orlando? <laughs> Me. Whoops, I said Disneyland. Oh, yeah, you're watching. I will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, huh? I'd love to have an Uncle Johnny Dogs. It'd be a good time. Tommy Guns and Johnny Dogs. There you go. Now nah, she's been cocked. She's alive in your hand. <laughs> that was pretty good. She rolls over all sleepy eyed and she goes, Michael. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Cock it again. Cock it again. <laughs> John can't even talk. Oh. Look at that fucking face, John boy. <laughs> Look <laughs> You won't feel nothing until you point that thing at a man. So do it. What? Bro. There you go, 
you no. Boss. There you go. Now you feel it. What if he just caps him? Michael, that's a web blow. Jumps from the hammer. How does it feel, Michael? Huh? Better than having a pen in your hand, and it's. What are you guys doing? Whiskey and guns, bro. Name a better duo. Oh. One squeeze. Mm. I'm gone. Michael. You fucking watch that web we don't jump, you know that. He's like saying sometimes that thing shoots when you don't want it to. And that body and the man you shot wraps itself around your ankles. What is Arthur doing? It gets to the point. Michael. I don't feel good. <laughs> What's going on? It's the little gun talk. Michael. Get in the house. She didn't want him to be in this <laughs> this business. No. <laughs> this is exactly why. Oh, he ain't going in. Got some tood on him. Arthur's like, yes, sir. What? I think Michael's 20 now at this point. Yeah. What's this episode called? Episode furry? Yeah, furry. <laughs> what? That was just, just awful. Just one. <laughs> Everything about that was just awful. <laughs> we didn't have to pay for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. Take a look at this list. Those are all the men who work the night shift who are members of the South Birmingham Communist Party. You've got six weeks. Sack them all. Are you fucking mad? He is. <laughs> yeah. Little good cop, bad cop, or bad cop, bad cop? Are there any communists on your shift who aren't on the list? No. Please don't fucking lie to us. Who's missing? I don't know. Manuel Walter. I didn't know he was a communist. We left that name off the list on purpose. They're testing you, brother, and you failed. Look, I'm just a working man. We're gonna be watching you. I've got kids. <sighs> Ethan and John. Oh, no, you, no we know <laughs> their names. My motivation for doing this is twofold. Firstly, you have a face full of contradictions. Second motivation is that I am planning to seduce you eventually. Mm. Okay. Please, God, sleep with you. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Dude was on his hands and knees. Telling someone you plan to seduce them is... Craziness. Yeah, it's a confident move. She deserves a sleeping with, though. What do you think? You're sad. Giving. Would you wear it? Why would I not? That's my question. There's a oh, curse on it. Wondering if it's his fault. You want me to tell you this child is cursed? And then our death won't be all your fault. Clinging on the straws here, Tommy. But he also put the thing around her neck. It is cursed. I feel it's cursed burning through my heart. Maybe she's just making him feel better. He said, nope, I'm taking that. I'm getting out. Oh my god, they're snagging this guy out of line. Dude, I do not want to see what Tommy would do to that man. You want to see it though, kinda. Kinda. Look at his hat! Look at his hat! <laughs> One of us. No. Excuse me, brother. Have you got a light? No, you can't let him go. 
just cap him. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's Damn. crazy. He's bringing it out of you. Yeah, I know. I mean, he re really didn't do anything wrong. Johnny Boy just randomly cut his son's eye. This copper's one of them. And copper throws his hat off. This he's definitely one of them. Let him go. It's such a weird dynamic. I said, let him go. He's coming with us. Not until I know my wife is safe. She's safe. Brother. Come with us. Let him go. Let him go too. No way. Andre, listen. No, listen to me. Go to the cafe in Watch Street. Benito will take care of you. Let him go too. He's an old man. Sorry. John? Cool it, brother. Fucking go! You have ten seconds or Tommy's all to stand. Oh, he's crying, bro. So please Ray. Bro, they should not be doing this uh, shit. It's personal for them. Oh man. He was just defending his son. They were supposed to kill her, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm glad that they didn't kill yeah. his wife, but the other guy? I don't know. Tommy's gonna bleed him like a deer. I think it's fair. The dude that shot Grace, I'm pretty sure Arthur stepped on his head a like a hundred times. <laughs> this guy's gonna be tied up. The him. It's gonna be slow. Oh. I'll have to live in the final cut. Until we can both hear the blackbird singing outside. It's a beautiful sound. Which my wife will never hear again. The f the switch has flipped in this man. I'm gonna have to choose carefully. Which part are you? Away first. Oh god. <laughs> Open your eyes or I will cut away your fucking eyelids. Look at me. This is crazy, Tommy. This is the end. <laughs> that was your tongue that gave the order. Oh, so that's the first to go. I'll take your tongue first. Then I'll take your ears. They're like, this dude's fucked. I take your tongue. You won't be able to explain. And I want you to explain. I want you to fucking explain. Oh my gosh. Tommy's a psycho. Holy lost at this point. Come on, Tommy. I'll forget who I am. I'm Tommy fucking Shelby. I'm a blind and I'll take your fucking eyes first. Oh, Arthur. Fuck. I heard the blackbird sing. Okay, that was probably good. And I got his wife bought him up and shipped to New York. Why didn't you kill Mrs. Jankret? It's all right. We're not those kind of men. Respect, respect. That dude was gonna go crazy on him and probably f scar himself for the future and not be the same person. I did not want to see that old man bleed out. Uh oh. <laughs> Charlie. Still got to find time to be a dad. Oh, Tom, and he's struggling. And I noticed he started wearing lipstick again. 
So what? You can change what you do, but you can't change what you want. And what is it that I want? Johnny Dogs. <laughs> he walks in. I'm here, baby. We've got something to tell you. Hi, hi, Ada. Boston office. Damn, that's, that's sick. Dope. Johnny's Monklin, right? He did not say I love you. <laughs> what happened to Josh O'Connor James, dude? Get is him that James back. Monkland? I don't think he was a communist. This is James Monkland. The peaky f in blinders. You miss Campbell? No. I miss his villainy. Are you? Tommy Shelby. How do you not know him? The organization. It was giving you information. What organization? The Economic League, the Vigilance Committee, the Odd Fellows, Section D. They have many fucking names. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Mr. Shelby. They are very, very dangerous people. Oh. You have to choose who you're more afraid of. The Pinky Blinders at exactly 11.43 or... Hmm. Section D at some point in the future. Gonna kill you. I was gonna wait until you had a strong cup of tea in your hand. Come on then. But um I'm gonna have a baby, Arthur. What? I'm gonna be a dad? I feel like he'd be a pretty good dad. Yeah. This working at night will have to stop. I feel like Arthur could be good actor in like a Red Dead Redemption show. You think? You just see him as a cowboy? Yeah. I feel like Arthur would tell Tommy that and tell me like, You're still fucking working, Arthur! <laughs> I don't think he's trying to retire. I know, but just like with the night stuff. Uh -huh. I don't think Tommy will give a shit. What is this? Why fucking giving us all this come shit? On, come on. Right! Is he yeah, announcing his baby? Yeah, I hope they care. Like, I, I hope don't they're, think they're gonna care. I hope they, they're pumped. Gentlemen! Linda! He's up this morning. I'm gonna be a fucking dad. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kelly. Come on, give him approval. I knew you had it in you. I knew you had it in him. He just wants Tommy to be happy. The tits feel different to already. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Fucked now, man. Fucked. Oh, Tommy. Goodbye, Arthur. I'm amazing. I have to go to. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Hey. Be dead. Proud of you. That's all he wanted to hear, man. He's probably that probably made him happy. Dude, he has such tough, tough love, Tommy. Yeah, I think that's like the most you'd probably get out of him, honestly. Like he literally said goodbye, Arthur. That was his first words. <laughs> goodbye, Arthur. I have a meeting. This is a crazy table right here. I feel like it's just table. evil. Before we eat, should we say grace? Uh, Come on, bro. Not clever. How else do you say it, though? We have two locomotive drivers who have been allocated to drive the midnight goods train to London. The armored vehicles will be waiting on flatbeds. And the ammunition. The ammunition. I have to say that this soup is Bro, excellent. this guy's a jackass. How long to London? The train won't reach London. All the goods will be unloaded at a coal yard at St Albans and put onto Shelby Company trucks during the rioting. The Lanchester factory will be firebombed. A scrap metal dealer of my acquaintance will declare that all the armored vehicles are in the wreckage and should be written off as salvage. Everything's thought out, dude. So he's just trying to get these armored trucks to, the, to, to them. This uh, is the amount of extra expense I believe I will incur for trucks and fuels. I trust you will respond in kind. But of course, Mr. Shelby. What did it oh, say? I have secrets. Dude, I don't know why, but I read it as, I have Shreks. <laughs> I'm unable to swallow food. 
The same room as this priest. Oh shit. Yeah, Prius is public enemy number one now. Tatiana, see Mr. Shelby to his car. Oh. He wants to seduce him. I don't think they're fucking with the priest right now. He made a good impression, Mr. Shelby. I wonder if anyone's ever counted how many cigarettes he smoked this, this show. I feel like you could probably look it up. Why would the priest pass information to our enemies? Mm. Tommy said, I'll kill that guy for free. You are able to continue your business dealings even after what happened. Perhaps you didn't love her. Oh. She's there. By my side. And she says, Don't trust these people. Don't give me permission. I don't know, I think the uh, whole thing with the the people at the end, the Duchess, um, her daughter, the other dudes at the table, the priest, like I think that is a very interesting storyline right now and I want to see more of it. It feels like so important, but pretty much Tommy went over his plan there at the end of how things are going to go down and um, everything seems pretty planned out. Like. He had, uh, like usual, he has everything thought out. But I do feel like maybe he's holding back some stuff because the priest was there. And we know, like, he doesn't trust the priest, I'm pretty sure. Um, that was the whole point of that dude that was in jail that he stopped by and spoke to. James or whatever, I think. Um, they said that the priest was giving information to, like, sp spreading the secret information to people, like their enemies. So... Um, it makes you like wonder whose side he's actually on. So, Tommy, all he wants right now is permission to kill him. Um, he said on the thing, I have secrets. It's probably what he was talking about there at the end. Like, this is what this dude's been doing. So, I think there's no doubt they'll let him go kill the priest. But, um, I don't know. I feel like with him, there's not. it's not like Sabini or one of those guys where I'm like, oh... I hope Tommy will be safe. Like, I think he could take that dude pretty easily, to be honest. But um, I think it will be pretty interesting to watch. And then seeing this whole deal go down, hopefully pretty smoothly. I don't know. I mean, it's like the biggest thing he's probably done. It's armored trucks. Like, it's pretty crazy. It's full on war vehicles. So uh, I'm excited to see that go down. Kind of cool to think now that Tommy wrote down, I have secrets to the, the Grand Duchess and then she told Tatiana to go walk out with him and then said in Russian so the priest couldn't understand to listen to what he, have to, what he has to say. That's kind of cool like that. I didn't really catch that until like after. But yeah, this is a, a crazy episode. Obviously, Arthur, um, big Arthur episode too. He's having a kid. They went on their missions to um, get back at the Italian Um Arthur and John Boy, I'm happy they let that guy go, or they let the girl go. Um, but and Arthur sort of put the guy out in um, a better way than Tommy was going to do it. So a lot of respect for Arthur this episode. I'm happy that he's having a kid and uh, and Tommy's proud of him. So that's all he wanted, and I'm happy and I love him. Yeah, obviously this episode they just kind of announced that Grace did pass away uh, from the gunshot wound in the previous episode. And afterwards, we just saw Tommy at, at like peak madness. I mean, like he, he just, he had no sympathy for anything. He had no regard for like his family, really. He just was so dialed in on getting revenge that he was willing to make John and Arthur kill their old like grade school teacher just just because like just because she was married to this man that's too much i'm glad that uh arthur and john didn't agree to do that because uh i agree with what you said bryce in the video that he tommy would probably regret that later on just because he's not in his right mind right now and uh you could definitely see that on full display whenever he was about to torture um 
the the boss there um don't even want to imagine what he was going to do he was going to be really really bad and it was going to take a long time but um glad that his brothers kind of checked him a little bit there and brought him back to reality all right guys that is it though for this episode if you guys enjoyed the reaction please drop a like comment and subscribe check out our links in the description we have our patreon our discord our second channel a talk all of our social medias and the address to our p.o box but yeah we'll catch you guys next time for season three episode four of peaky blinders peace out